Wait, let me explain. I know you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, and you're wondering, is he really going to talk about these guys as his best entrepreneurs of the year 2021? Yes. But hey, we're going to talk about all that after the intro. What's up, guys? This is JC, and welcome to the Wealth Engineering channel. I create content to motivate millennials in increasing their net worth, retire early, and build generational wealth. How do we do that, guys? We do that to stocks, crypto, real estate, and business. So if you haven't started your financial journey, what are you waiting for? 2022, new year, new you, make it happen. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell. We have tons of podcasts and interviews and which could give you good ideas on what to start if you want to do a side hustle, increasing your wealth, or just crypto investment as a whole. Make sure you tune in. Ha, very interesting video. And as, since we're talking about entrepreneurs, well, I actually created this shirt right here on the channel uh, for the 1K celebration. I got it for the new year. And check this out, beautiful design, wealth engineering. There is also some words in the word engineering itself. If you wanna get your own shirt, the link will be in the description below and also has any other links that you would be interested in, make sure to check it out. With that said guys, let's get into the topic. First, I wanna give some context, all right? Um, again, these are not the best entrepreneurs of the entire world. These are my entrepreneurs of the year 2021. And I want to prelude that by saying I was only following a couple of entrepreneurs throughout the year. And so it's not like I was alerted by, by CNBC and looking a bunch of things. I was It's only based on the people that I was following. And, and there is a reason why I selected every single one of these people that you saw in a thumbnail as part of my best selection of the year entrepreneur. There, I think there are a couple things you can learn from it, all right? I know the internet is gonna destroy me on this, but I gotta do it, guys, I gotta do it. So the best entrepreneurs in my book, remember, these are my selection, my choice, right? Is Elon Musk. Well, we know Elon Musk, you know, he's a workaholic. He's always in the news, always doing something innovative, always talking about Mars. Uh, he just released a podcast with uh, Lex, right? You're going to check this out. The link will be in the description as well for that. But guys, why is he on the list? Why did he do in 2020 that made him different? compared? And why does he have the first place? Well, first is net worth, right? Definitely achieve uh, the status of the richest man in the world in 2021. But also the reason why he's on the list is because of his influence. Elon Musk is not only the richest man in the world, but 2021 cemented him as one of the most influential entrepreneurs in our lifetime, probably in the century, all right? This guy was definitely testing his influence, especially in the cryptocurrencies. He actually triggered a bull run within the bull run with Dogecoin, and Dogecoin started going up. Shiba went up right after and I made some good money on Shiba. So you can understand why I appreciate Elon Musk. But with that said, we also have to understand that it wasn't all the way up, right? Some of his tweets actually affected the market and it, was, it made the market go down. And some people lost a lot of money. But again, guys, when it comes to selling your stocks or cryptocurrencies, you actually only lose money if you do end up selling it. But it's the emotions. When people are seeing the accounts going in red, they're panicking, they're fear, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And then they sell their position at a loss so that they, so that they don't end up losing more. And somehow, if you actually hold the investment long enough, you might realize that you could break even or even be positive. So from my perspective, it did not affect me in a negative way. I was me, I was impartial to Elon's tweet. But what I wanted to allude there is, is influence. Uh, never have we have seen before an entrepreneur, one entrepreneur with this level of influence in the world, in any market. And Elon Musk tweets all year long was just fun to watch. So definitely in the first position, if we're going to go with first, second and third and first, we're going to put Elon Musk. The second best entrepreneur of the year uh, is, is Jake Paul, in my opinion. Again, right, based on my own 
<laughs> criteria. The reason why I'm saying this is not just because what he's doing on YouTube, but it's also what he's doing off YouTube. He started a boxing empire, taking what Mayweather did to another level. So what Mayweather did, guys, is he was not only the boxer, but he was also the promoter, right? Um, he was making a lot more money that way as the promoter, controlling exactly who he fights and also bringing a lot more money along the way, like $100 million for one fight, right? So actually, Jake Paul is doing the same type of moves, right? And he's already he was already a popular in the social media, like 20 million subscribers on YouTube, right? He has like over 10 million on Instagram. So this guy is very popular. So when it's very easy for him to sell out a crowd, and he did that four times this year, and he had four fights, three massive knockouts. Each of them were spectacular. So shout out to him. But not only that, guys, I want you to check this out. He's basically the face of the capital fund, the venture capital fund. But I'm actually going to invite you to read this, and I'll add this link in the description below to check it out. But it's very interesting interesting guys these are billion dollar moves he might actually be one of the very few youtubers that becomes uh multi-billionaires guys and these moves like this can definitely get him there like he's people he's planning on investing on crypto assets crypto economy e-commerce enabling startups right and he's looking for pre-seed seed a round companies and will back outstanding people working on any opportunity at any stage guys so this is a great move right here we can talk about their strategy uh if you want to learn more about it i'll leave the links in the description below but i wanted to talk about this move because this is a serious move this is a power play move right here and that's why jake paul is on my second list uh, as the best entrepreneurs of the year 2021 all right, guys, so this is the part you were waiting for. We're going to talk about Kevin Samuels, Fresh and Fit, and the lead attorney. And I'm going to put all of these guys in the third spot, right? It's my podium, my rules, right? <laughs> but I will put all of these three guys on the same podium as the entrepreneurs of 2021. And I'm only going to approach this as the business aspect, all right? Not the drama aspect, not the ethical aspect, just pure business. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it just with the numbers. And we're going to see, we're going to rearrange it, right? So although I'm putting all of them in the same podium, but, you know, deep down in my mind, there is also a third, fourth, and fifth, right? So we're going to we're going to do that as well. All right, Kevin Samuel is an image consultant who's also a YouTuber. He calls himself the godfather, but most people knows his famous line average at best and uh, but he's um he's been blowing up like crazy in 2021 putting up videos every week it actually one of the content creator that made streams popular and now many youtube content creators like me are actually looking and taking inspiration from kevin samuel's stream to start our own streams right that is definitely why he is one and is one of the best entrepreneurs in my list. All right. Now, going back to Fresh and Fit, Kevin Samuel was on Fresh and Fit panel podcast. They do live streams as well. And that's actually how I find out about Fresh and Fit because of Kevin Samuels. And since then, I've been following them and they're doing great work as well, right? From the business perspective, if we're looking just at the numbers, they're doing great. They invested about $100,000 on their studio, beautiful view in Florida, Miami. And they're, man, they're working, they're workaholics, workaholics, working very hard. And you can see that in the numbers as well, all right? We're going to show you the numbers and some money later. Then we have the lead attorney. Now, be, um, something happened with Fresh and Fit. They had a lot of drama. Shout out to Miss Cheeks. Miss Cheeks started making allegations about Fit. Those allegations showed kind of like a red, red zone, you know, a red flag that um, he wasn't necessarily leaving the life that he was preaching. Many drama. I don't want to go in drama right now. It's very controversial. Some people are for it. Some people are against what Fresh and Fits are doing. Uh, but they lost many subscribers and they still found a way to bounce back. All right. So shout out to him for that. That shows that they're a workaholic, never give up and found a way to innovate and walk themselves out of this barrage of content that, that was making them. Right? But with this, with this drama, I found out a lot of other YouTubers like Beautiful Lies, El Guapo, shout out to you, and also the lead attorney, one of my best content creators of 2021 and definitely one of the, the best entrepreneurs 
of the year 2021. We're going to show you the numbers. Each of these guys are streamers, right? But they are doing something unique to YouTube that I don't think they're aware of. And I believe they're actually leading the way to the next wave of content creators and also the future of contents on YouTube, all right? I believe these guys are symbols for the streaming world and we're going to dive deep into it. Let's talk about numbers. How do we define which one is third, fourth, and fifth, all right? So I'm going to keep it strictly about numbers. If we have to put it on numbers, we have to put fresh and fit first. Why? Well, let's, let's check this out, guys. If we go on their Patreon, right, the lowest tier is $7, and they have about 1,545 uh, Patreon members. If we assume that every of their members are paying $7 Canadian, this is about $10,000 Canadian that they're making a month, all right, a month, and this number keeps increasing. But it doesn't stop there. I actually found this website that tracked the amount of money they made on Super Chat, guys. And it's crazy. Look at this, guys. So yesterday, they made 2,000 Canadian on Super Chat alone. Super Chats alone, guys. Now, uh, for the last seven days, we're talking about $16,000. This is a business right here. And then look at this, guys. So in basically a year, we're talking about $791,000 in super chat this is almost a million dollar in super chat which have ranked them the number one place when it comes to the most super chatted channel now second is we have to talk about kevin samuel there are a website like social blade who tries to estimate how much money he's making uh he basically made anywhere from three thousand to fifty one thousand dollar a month i think he's probably making more than that to be honest with you a month uh but guys so a uh, yearly earnings I I think he's actually making in a million, to be honest with you guys. Um, if we're looking at the views, if we're looking at the super chat alone, um, he's doing, he's probably in a million dollar in revenue. All right. So uh, this estimation, I don't think it's fair because it's not factoring the super chat also. 583,000 in super chat, right? And I think that's basically this year. That's most of that money comes this year. Now, when you, when you add that with the AdSense, right? It's making, it's probably making uh, close to a million dollars, probably a million dollars a year, a year, right? So great YouTubers, but it's not really about the money. It's more about the impacts, right? He, he motivated so many other content creators to follow in his footsteps, right? Raise the level and the image of the black community worldwide as an image consultant. Shout out to him for that. Uh, and he conducts himself. He's a strategic guy, right? Every moves he makes is purely calculated. And then shout out to him for that. All right. And the and lastly, the lead attorney, two hundred and twenty-five Patreon members making up approximately six thousand dollars. Shout out to him for being transparent and showing those numbers. Many people will not show these numbers. All right. He's making about one hundred and sixty-seven thousand Canadian. All right. So this is some serious money, and most of that money is this year. In January last year, he had a thousand subscribers. Now he's well over a hundred thousand subscribers, making basically a uh, hundred and sixty-seven on Super Chat alone, alone. And remember, you have the AdSense. Uh, he's not really making any partnership yet with other brand, but hey, if that comes through, that's going to be additional, uh, additional uh, uh, money for him. He's releasing a course also this month. So he's going to have a digital course. He's going to have his Patreon, Super Chat, right? So these guys are making tons of money. But why do I have all three streamers as one of my best entrepreneurs of the year? It's not even about the money because comparing that with what Elon Musk and Jake Paul are doing is peanuts, right? It's nothing. But these guys have motivated so many people especially people like me to start streaming as well streaming has already been proven to be one of the rising type of contents that people are adopting they're leaving radio right you have spotify that started this trend and now more and more people are on streaming and in 2020 streaming really accelerated especially when cv19 was there but this type, especially Fresh and Fit and the lead attorney, the type of streaming that they're making is they're building a relationship with their audience. That creates loyalty 
with the audience that creates repeat business, put their money where their attentions are, right? Now, here's an interesting thing. If we're looking at the most super chatted channel on the United States, we put it on weekly, we scroll all the way, they're in the sixth place making $10,000 this week. We're talking about just this week alone, right? If you're looking at Kevin Samuels, 7,000 Canadian, and we're looking at lead attorney, lead attorney is actually competing with Kevin Samuels. Now, here's the interesting thing. Kevin Samuel has a million subscribers. Lead attorney has 100,000 subscribers. So one-tenth of what this guy has, and they're competing in terms of super chat. But the Fresh and Fit is on a league on its own. And look at this. If we put it on a monthly, they're actually ranked higher, right? Third on the month with 76,000 Canadian guys. These are huge numbers. And if we put it on a yearly for the year 2021, they're actually first, first in the United States, the most super chatted YouTube channel. And if we keep scrolling down, Kevin Samuel is all the way to the seventh with 1 million subscriber, yet he's seven. And this guy's getting super chatted. Now, I'm, now, there is a reason why Fresh and Fit is making so much. It's not just their audience, right? It's also their interaction with the audience. And that's going to go back with the exactly why I think in streaming is going to be the new form of making content. So check this out, guys. The lead attorney is ranked 41st, but I bet you on the year 2022, it's actually going to rank way higher and he might even compete with Kevin Samuels. More on that later. So that's how they're doing. And lead attorney is doing something even better. He's promoting a lot of small YouTubers. His course and his Patreon is also designed to help small YouTubers like me. I'm taking benefit from the lead attorneys. I'm actually very grateful for the drama that happened with Fresh and Fit because that's how I found the lead attorney. Now he's, being, he's able to mentor me uh, and help me grow my channel. And have you guys noticed, and the guys noticed the last three months, my channel has been go growing fast as opposed to what I was doing last year, right? So I'm applying a lot of different things that I'm learning along the way. And a lot of that had to do with what I've learned with the lead attorney. So he's helping a lot of content creators like that. And that's going to create a whole new generation of content creators developing a relationship with their, with their audience, creating new more contents out there, out there and take leverage what YouTube is doing. So with that said, because of that, if we're looking at just the money alone, Fresh and Fit is winning because despite having less subscribers with Kevin Samuels in terms of views, they're competing with Kevin Samuels. But when you add their Patreon, when you add their course, when you add their super chat, they're probably making more money than Kevin Samuels, all right? Kevin Samuels also is the starter, is the pioneer of all this brand. Streaming was already popular, but not in the black community and also not to a, to a level where people can really make tons and tons of money like that to show that it's possible for you to make it. And that's why I appreciate what they're doing, but I really appreciate what they're doing, especially the lead attorney. And this is why from that perspective, despite the lead attorney having the lower numbers out of all these three people, I would move them forward and move them on the third place position because the way is impacting other YouTubers his impact would be greater over time as opposed to the money that the Fresh and Freeze is making right now or the status that Kevin Samuel has right now. I think the lead attorney's impact is kind of like a kingmaker in a sort of way. And his growth is rising the tide and growing a bunch of other content creators at the same time. So the, in terms of empire building, kingmaking ability, this is a huge move right here. With that said, guys, Happy New Year. We're going to be pumping more content in 2022. Make sure you check out my last stream of 2021 where we did it with Millennial Mark TV, which I've met in the network of the lead attorney. This guy was dropping knowledge how he took a simple skill and turned it into a million dollar a year business, guys. Make sure you check it out. You don't want to miss on this. With that said, see you on the next one.